One stock from the broader markets, which is Vedanta Limited. You know, Vedanta is surging away in today's trading session, and we've got a note come out from Novama. They have gone ahead, they've upgraded the stock to a buy. The target price they've up to around 362 from around 265 earlier. One of the factors that have played out is they've given Vedanta, ex Hindustan Singh, a higher multiple. Earlier they were valuing it around four and a half times EV per beta. Now they've upped that multiple to around five and a half times EV per beta. For Hindustan Singh, they continue to value it at around six and a half times on a forward EBITDA basis. The key reason they are saying is the successful debt restructuring at its parent, that's Vedanta Resources, that removes a major overhang for the stock. They say that because though the restructuring comes at a higher cost, it gives them time and it gives them a two-year breathing period. And because of this, the management can focus on the core business. So they say they can focus on unlocking incremental cash flows via two factors. One is the ongoing aluminium and zinc expansion. They can focus on that and from there they can get additional cash flows. The other factor they can focus on is they have given their intent out that they look at divesting some of the steel as well as the iron ore businesses. And uh, they're saying that, you know, with this out of the way, that is the Vedanta resources restructuring out of the way, now they can focus their energies on both these two factors, core business as well as on divesting some of those no non-core assets. As we speak, Vedanta Limited, that was down close on 2% earlier today, that spiked up, currently moving to the high point of the day. You don't rule out Anil Agarwal. He believes that he has a plan and he had told us here on CNBC TV 18 earlier that by the end of this fiscal, he'll be able to get rid of that iron ore as well as the steel businesses. So let's see how that goes because that's what will help them in terms of deleveraging both the balance sheet as well as the promoter entity can deleverage themselves at the top via some dividend payout as well. Stock currently surging and on very high volumes. Similar short break, you come back. Nimesh will join us to tell us what he's picking up in terms of dealing.